What's up guys, Chigs there from Chigs Tech Reviews. So here is the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. Now this is the 44 millimeter Bluetooth model. It supports Bluetooth phone calls and has a super impressive always on display. Now I have been using this as my daily driver for just over a week now and all week it's been paired up to my brand new iPhone 11 Pro Max and I have been quite impressed with the results and more about that later on in this video. So first of all inside the box you will find a user manual, a wireless USB charger and last but certainly not least the watch itself. So here it is guys, the one you've been waiting for, the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 and I will put the specs on the screen so you guys can have a quick read. Now the design is quite nice. The watch body itself is made completely from metal. It's finished in aqua black and I have to say I'm loving this gorgeous design. Now you can also get this in cloud silver and pink gold but aqua black is the one for me. It just looks amazing. Now you do have a 1.4 inch Super AMOLED display with a resolution of 360 by 360 and with Gorilla Glass protection. Now the watch is powered by the Exynos 9110 dual core CPU with 768 megabytes of RAM and four gigs of internal storage. So this has the same CPU as the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active. So nothing has changed in the CPU and RAM wise, we've got 768 megabytes. Why not just make it one GB? I'm not sure why. Maybe 768 is cheaper than one GB. <laughs> I don't know. So anyway, there is also Bluetooth version five built in GPS GLONASS, very nice, accurate GPS. You've got Wi-Fi and NFC, and this is running Tizen OS version four with one UI version 1.5 on top and I have to say it's very smooth and snappy in operation. Now let's talk about the battery life. Now you've got a 340 milliamp hour battery and during my week I did do a number of battery tests and achieved very impressive results. Now first of all being constantly connected by Bluetooth, so Bluetooth is on, Wi-Fi is on automatic mode so you can see the A there and brightness, right now the brightness is high but brightness was actually on medium. So we had medium brightness, this is how it looked, with the always on screen off. Now based on these settings, I was able to achieve an impressive 52 hour battery life. This was with normal usage, all my notifications coming through for the channel, email, SMS, WhatsApp, and all my social medias. So two whole days, and on the third day, it lasted till around midday. Now the second battery test I did had exactly the same settings, but this time I had the always on screen active, so it just slightly dims the screen and it still manages to look bright and beautiful and can be seen outdoors in any lighting situation. So I'm absolutely loving that always on screen. Now this time around, I achieved an amazing 35 hour battery life. And let me tell you right now, the always on screen is the best I have seen so far. So it lasted one whole day and the next day it gave up at around 4 p.m. So that's like 1.5 day battery with the always on screen active. That's an impressive battery life. And that's the reason I've got my always on screen active at all times. And in case you're wondering how long does it take to charge the watch? So you've got the charger, it just, play, it just sits on top. It is magnetic, so it will stay in place. And it takes around two hours to fully charge this watch, but it will give you a super impressive battery life. And throughout my battery tests, I did not use any battery saving options. Now you do have the option to click here and you can have a battery saving options. So basically everything goes grayscale. I'll show you how that looks. Enabling power saving mode. And that is how power saving mode looks. And you can switch it off just by hitting off. It gives you the battery date time. It still gives you your notifications. Your notifications will still come through, but everything is grayscale and the exercise side of things will not work. So you can't work out, it will count your steps but you can't run any workout programs. So if you do this, you'll get a huge battery life, of course. But during my tests, I did not use this mode at all. To be honest, it's such a beautiful watch. I don't think I would ever use that grayscale battery saving mode. Okay, so moving on, this watch is 5 ATM and IP68 waterproof. 
So you can go swimming with this watch with no issues at all. Now, let's talk about the watch dimensions. It's 44 millimeters in diameter and 10.9 millimeters in thickness, and it weighs 52.3 grams, of course, with the straps on. And look here, guys, you've got a touch sensitive bezel, which gives you the similar effect of the rotating bezel. And I'm actually liking it more than the rotating bezel. Now the straps themselves are 20 millimeters. They are very easy to remove and they are made from silicone. So you can expect a soft and comfortable fit on your wrist. But also when you're wearing this watch, you're gonna notice it's very compact, slim and light. But at the same time, it offers a nice big 1.4 inch screen. Now to give you an idea of the size, I will bring in its older brother, the Samsung Galaxy Watch. So here they are side by side. Samsung Galaxy Watch has been my favorite smartwatch for a very long time now. Nothing has come close to it. And I said, if anybody's gonna be able to match the Samsung Galaxy Watch, it's only gonna be Samsung themselves. Now the Samsung Galaxy Watch is 46 millimeters versus 44 millimeters and 1.3 inch screen versus 1.4 inch screen. And the weight is 63 grams versus 52.3 grams. And they managed to somehow make the Active 2, two millimeters slimmer than the Galaxy Watch. So very impressed with the build quality of the new watch. So the original Galaxy Watch has a spinning bezel, which is very, very satisfying to use. When you spin that bezel, you get that clicky, clicky noise. Feels great. Well, what they've done in the new watch is they've given you a touch sensitive bezel. So nothing is moving, but you've got a touch sensitive bezel. Now what's interesting about it is you've got this haptic feedback, which feels not as good as the clicking, of the moving bezel, but you still have this haptic feedback. And as you go all the way around, you can feel that vibration, that tick, tick, tick vibration. So it's a very similar effect and it is quite gratifying to use. So well thought out design of the new watch. So goodbye to Big Brother for now. And if you guys wanna see a comparison of those two, then let me know in the comments below and you know, I'll get it done for you guys. Now coming back to the Active 2. Now on the side of the watch, we have a power button, microphone and a back button. On the other side, we have a loudspeaker, and that is good news. We've got a microphone and a speaker, which means you can do voice calls on this. Now, the previous Samsung Galaxy Active did not have a microphone or speaker, and that was the biggest letdown. And it's nice that Samsung has actually listened to us, and they've given us that microphone and speaker that we all wanted, meaning Bluetooth phone calls can be taken directly on the watch. I have tried it already, and I tell you now, it's crystal clear and loud. Okay, so back on the watch, you have your heartbeat sensor, and this watch also supports wireless charging. Now let's have a closer look at the watch faces and the features. Now this is the default watch face, and I have to say the default watch face is just brilliant. I really, really like it. You've got the time and the date, and you've got the battery information and the steps you've taken. Now great thing about this watch is, you've got a lot of customization options. So if you wanted to change the watch face, first of all, keep the center pressed, you'll feel haptic feedback, which is great. And then you've got a customized button as well. So you could customize the existing watch face, first of all, to change the color, you just swipe up and down on the bezel. I'll leave it on red. You have five different colors. And then you can swipe to the right and you can change your next option. Over here, it says date, the date is highlighted. And if you don't want the date there, you can change. You can have world clock, you can have music, reminders. You can have over 32 different items there. I'm gonna put it back to date because the date is very, very useful for me. But I just wanted to show you guys that it is highly customizable, right? You can swipe again and you can change again the battery that can be swapped out with 32 different items. And finally, the steps again can be swapped out too. Sorry about the focus guys. Now you press okay once you finish customizing and you have your fully customized watch face. Now you guys tell me, what do you think, yellow or red? The default's nice, but I really like the red one personally. That's what I've been using all this time. So we're gonna do that again, and this time I'm gonna show you that you can actually uh, change your watch faces as well. And there is a whole bunch of watch faces that you can change to. And there's some new ones, pretty, pretty nice looking ones as well. So what I'll do now is the usual. I'll put all the watch faces on the screen right now for you to see.
So that was the selection of built-in watch faces, but you've also got the smartphone app. Now I did connect this watch to my iPhone. You've got a section here where you can download so many different apps and also watch faces. And there's a very good selection of free watch faces as well. So there's paid and free. If you go back and every day you will see the now free section. And when you click on it, it will give you the chance to download completely free a premium watch face. So this watch face was normally 77p. You can just click on the free button and download it free of charge. So every day or every other day you will see new premium paid watch faces are being available completely free of charge. And you can see it's installing right now on my watch wirelessly. And you've got four gig storage so you can download ample watches. And now the installation is done, you will see the apply button, click apply and that will change your watch face in real time. So we now have this Mr. Time watch face. Now another thing I like about this watch is the bezels. Now the bezels blend into the watch face so you don't really have an idea of how big the bezels are. And I'll show you most of the watch faces will give that effect where it blends into the sides. So you really can't tell where the bezel starts from or where it finishes. So it kind of gives you a bezel-less look. And that is very, very 2019, very futuristic. And if we compare that to the original Samsung Galaxy Watch, you've got bezels, you've got the rotating bezels, and you've got inner bezels as well. So that's actually a 1.3 inch screen, and it makes it look a bit small. Whereas this watch does a great job in hiding those bezels. And I will try and show you the bezels. So when you tap in the center, you can then see the outer bezel layer going all the way around. So very clever design, Samsung. I really like what they've done here. Now let's go through all the watch features. If we swipe down from the top and you've got more quick toggles on here, you've got three pages worth than the original Samsung Galaxy Watch. And I'm compelled to just quickly show you. I didn't want to make this into a comparison video, but I feel I have to. So you've only got two pages and the important ones are there, but you've got some extra ones in this one. I just want to show you what you get. So the first one is good night mode. You're going to sleep. You can turn good night mode on and this is what happens to your screen. You won't be disturbed. You've got brightness, we've already checked. Over here where the speaker is, that's your volume control. So you can turn your volumes up and down. Over here where the minus sign is actually do not disturb. Now in the middle, you've got your always on screen and I've always got it on. I think the always on screen is one of the best features and one of the biggest reasons to buy this watch. Now you've got a shortcut here to take you directly to the main settings. If we swipe to the left, you've got theatre mode, a torch, the screen would just become white and bright. So if we touch it, you can actually adjust the brightness. That's your torch. You've got your battery saver mode here. So you can turn on your grayscale battery saver mode, which is aeroplane mode there, or watertight mode. Someone once asked me a question, do I have to activate watertight mode in order to go swimming? The answer is no, this watch is IP68, regardless of whether the watch is on or off, regardless of what mode you're on, this watch is waterproof and you can go swimming with it. Now what watertight mode does, it stops the touchscreen from doing anything. As when you do go in the water, the water droplets acts like touches um, and everything will start opening itself and it will start swiping itself. So it's a good idea to swipe down and activate the watertight mode to save any unwanted presses. Now at the bottom, you keep this pressed to deactivate watertight mode. So it's turning it off. So water lock mode, off, ejecting, blah, blah, blah. It says shake off the water, it gives you some instructions, but that's it, that's watertight mode. Now next one is Wi-Fi. Now Wi-Fi I leave on automatic, so it only uses the Wi-Fi when it needs to download something, otherwise it will just use your Bluetooth connection for the internet. Now if you keep it pressed once, Wi-Fi will turn on and now you've got always on Wi-Fi. So for whatever reason you need an always on Wi-Fi connection, there's the shortcut to it. But I'm gonna turn it back off and we're gonna leave it on automatic. So Wi-Fi off and I want it on auto. Now next page, you've got your Bluetooth pairing mode so you can, so you can connect your own Bluetooth headset or earbuds and immediately start listening to your music. Okay, so that's your Bluetooth, that's your location mode. I've got it off, you hit it to turn it on. Over here, you've got battery, and when you click on it, it will give you more power modes. So this is your standard mode, which I always leave it on, and it tells you how long you have left. If you go to power saving mode, you can see that can extend to three days, 
and watch only, it can go to 31 days. And then you've got optimization, optimized battery related. You can turn your always on screen off and you've got some more options there. Now what I wanna quickly show you while we're here is the watch only mode. So what happens when you put it on watch only mode? It will show you only the time. So there's your watch only mode. This mode will last you 31 days. It will not do anything else. It turns into a dumb watch basically, time only, and that is it. Now, I just wanted to show you what that looked like. Let's get back to normal mode. Now to go back to normal mode, it's gonna restart the whole thing. So the next mode is find your phone. If you lost your phone somewhere in the house and you're looking for it, hit this button and it will make a loud noise on your phone and you'll be able to locate your phone quite easily. Now the next mode is quite useful. It's your audio profile, so you can go into silent mode, loud mode, or just vibration only. I like it in vibration only. The vibration is quite intense and you can also customize the vibration from settings. So what we looked at there were just your quick toggles, three pages worth. I think they're very useful, laid out perfectly, and it means that you don't need to go through all the main settings to find a single feature. Now, if you swipe to the right and you saw an orange dot there letting you know that you have a notification, so all your notifications will appear here. Now, whilst you're connected to the iPhone, all of these messages, you can't really respond to them. You can read them, but you can't respond to them. Now, if you are connected to an Android phone, you'll be able to respond directly from the watch. So that's another drawback of connecting via iPhone. Okay, now if we swipe up, nothing happens. If we swipe to the left, you've got your music controls first of all. So you can actually play songs directly on the watch or directly on your phone. So right now, this is the Samsung's demo. It's on the watch. Okay, and if I just turn the volume up, again, lovely bezel. Speakers on the side. You can see, very, very good quality speaker. Now that's music stored on the watch. If you wanted to listen to music directly on your phone, you tap this button here. And then this becomes a remote control for the music that's stored on your phone. So you can just press, press play and you'll be able to listen to your music. So basically that's your music player and your music controller. If we keep going over here, you have your apps. Now, if you click the center, it will show you all your apps. And again, you've got that touch bezel, which I really like. Okay, so let's go through the apps together. You've got calendar, alarm, settings, the Galaxy App Store, weather, you've got Samsung Health, Bixby, contacts, phone, so you can make your phone calls directly from the watch. And if you keep going this way, you'll go to the next page, or you can actually swipe to the next page. So over here, we've got reminders, music, gallery, find my phone, Spotify, world clock, timer, and stopwatch. So any further apps that you installed from the Galaxy App Store, and I'll quickly show you what that looks like. You can access the App Store directly from the watch, or you can do it from your phone. And any of these apps that you download, and you do have Strava, voice memos, you've also got Map My Run, Edmondo, Calorie Counter, Spotify is already installed, and so on and so forth. And that was just like the essential section, but you've got other options as well. Now, if you download any more apps, they will just continue on this page and they will go on to other pages if you install more. So that's basically your app drawer. Now, if you keep going, you've got your sleep record. Next page, you've got your health. So on one page, you can see all your health, similar to how Apple uses rings and the ring closes. So if we further analyze it, it says I've burnt two calories for zero minutes and I've only been active for one hour according to this watch, but I haven't actually worn this watch today while I was shooting this video. So as you be active throughout the day, the rings will close. It will give you a score or a badge at the end to let you know how well you did. So it is quite motivational. Next page, you've got activities that you can do. And over here, you have your heart rate sensor, weather, workouts, and you can add more widgets. So if I click on more widgets, there's so many to choose from as you can see, and you can even do it like this if you prefer that. And it just goes on and on, and it's, it's great. I really do like this operating system. Um, it's very smooth and it's very highly customizable. So that is basically all the features. There's many small little tweaks that you can do. You can basically customize the button. So the button over here at the bottom, if you double tap it, you can get it to open any app you like. I've set it so it opens my health and it shows me in detail 
what I've been doing health-wise, including my heart rate, my sleep, stress levels, water intake, caffeine, everything. And you can also customize that as well. But if you wanted it to do something else, for example, if you wanted it to open Bixby, you can do that as well. Now you can activate Bixby by double tapping the home button or by just saying, hi Bixby, start a five kilometer run. There you go. We're ready to go for a run. Okay, let's try something else. Hi Bixby. Remind me to turn the oven off in one hour. Done. Reminder saved. Turn the other enough. So there you go. That is proof. Maybe I didn't speak properly. I'm going to do that again, but I am going to leave this in the video. Hi Bixby. Remind me to turn off the oven in one hour. So it worked the second time. Maybe I think it was the way I pronounced it. Let's just make sure by doing it for the third time. Hi Bixby. Remind me to take the pie out of the oven in one hour. Oh. Sure, it's been saved. So I'm going to get a lot of alerts in one hour. So you saw it worked. Hi Bixby. What is the weather like tomorrow in London? You've got my permission. Tomorrow in London, it will be rainy in the evening with a high of 15 degrees and a low of 10 degrees. Wow. Um, I have to say the speaker quality is also very, very good on this watch. Hi, Bixby. Where is my nearest cinema? Sorry, for now the function is not supported. I'll keep learning to make your experience better. So Bixby can't tell me where my nearest cinema is. Siri probably can. Hey Siri, where is my nearest cinema? Here's the Odeon Uxbridge. There you it go. isn't in Luton, though. Cineworld Luton. So a simple command like that, Bixby could not do. So th this is the new improved Bixby, but I'm not sure how useful it's gonna be. And to be honest with you, for all the time that I've used my Galaxy Watch, I never bothered with Bixby as my smartphone that I was paired on always had a better assistant to play with, so to speak. Now, most of you guys will know I'm about to do my favorite test for smartwatches, the screen on hand raise test. So Samsung Galaxy Watch is the reigning champion. I've got the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 on the same wrist, and we're gonna see which one is faster. So here we go. <laughs> There's no surprise there. I'm not surprised at all. They're exactly the same. Perfect. You cannot get a more perfect screen on hand raise than what Samsung does. It's just pure genius. Perfect, every single time. So the fastest screen on hand raise you can get is on the Samsung Galaxy Watch and the Galaxy Watch Active 2 will give you the same performance. So while we're here, we've got two watches on the wrist we may as well run a heart rate sensor test at the same time. Um, they've got the same software. I'm assuming they're gonna have the same heart rate sensor. Let's test it anyway. So there you go, guys. Here are the results of the heart rate sensor and they are neck to neck, bang on, exactly the same. And that means you've got a perfect, accurate, fast heart rate sensor on both of these watches. All right, guys, so it's time to make a phone call to show you guys what this watch can do. We're gonna use Bixby, so Bixby can redeem herself. Hi, Bixby. Call Katrina. Okay, calling Katrina now. Here we go. What I like is you've got volume controls as well. Hello. Hey. Hi, how you doing? It's me, Chiggs. Hey, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. Um, so what are you up to? Chilling. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I'm just testing out a watch right now. So um, let me know, is my voice clear to you? Yeah, I can hear you clearly. Great, and you sound very nice and clear as usual. Great. <laughs> yeah, let me call you back in a bit, yeah? Cool, okay. All right, take bye. care, bye, bye. 
awesome stuff. So that's how easy it is to call out from this watch. You can use Bixby to call anyone you like. You can call your mom, your dad, your wife, your granny, whoever you want to call. You just say their name. As long as they're in your contact list, you'll be able to call them. You can obviously go manual as well. You, you can hit contacts, you'll see all the numbers and you'll be able to just tap and call who you want. And you can also receive phone calls. So there you have it guys, that was the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2. The Samsung Galaxy Watch is my favorite smartwatch of all time. And after trying the new Galaxy Watch Active 2, I don't think I would use the original Galaxy Watch ever again. Now the design build quality is simply beautiful. You have a large screen, accurate health tracking, a great One UI performance with 768 megabytes of RAM. I guess Tizen OS with One UI on top is very well optimized. You have 20 millimeter removable straps. Screen on hand raising is super fast. Battery life is incredible. You can achieve up to three days with the always on screen off and 1.5 days with the always on screen on. The watch is also 5ATM waterproof. You can use this smartwatch on any Android smartphone. Does not have to be a Samsung and you'll be able to respond to text messages, WhatsApp, email and phone calls directly on the watch. However, there is some limitation with iOS. Now everything works when connected to iOS, including Bluetooth phone calls. However, I could not sync with the Samsung Galaxy Health app and I could not respond to notifications, emails or WhatsApp directly on the watch. So yes, there is limitation when using the Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 with an iPhone. However, if you use it with any Android smartphone, all functions work perfectly fine. So that brings us to my top smartwatch chart for 2019, showing you the best smartwatches and seeing how they compare with each other. There is no doubt in my mind that the new Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 deserves the number one position on this chart and effectively becomes the best smartwatch you can currently buy. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. Bottom line, this smartwatch is all about style, elegance and fitness. It does a very good job at tracking your fitness performance. The Samsung software is quite improved with the One UI making things more convenient and accessible. Furthermore, this watch has all the features of the original Samsung Galaxy watch, but with a bigger screen, touch sensitive bezels, a better UI with more useful shortcuts, and they somehow managed to make this watch slimmer and lighter with a better battery life. And with that being said, I will leave the links in the description so you guys can check this product out. Meanwhile, thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have a brilliant day. I'll see you guys in the next one.